Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. It is time. That's really out of focus. For another episode of Create This Book 2. They're rare on my channel these days, but I am still going, slowly working through this series and it's it's happening, it's happening, it's going. And these are always just a nice little treat. It's been so long that I've done the series, I feel like I need to explain what it is. If you don't know what Create This Book or Create This Book 2 is, uh, basically this is a book that I have published myself and it's a prompt book. So each page has a prompt and then the rest is left blank so that you can draw and create every page in the book and create this book too, because this is a sequel. If you want to create this book, it is available on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description. I have been seeing so many create this book and create this book too videos on YouTube. Definitely check out the playlist that I have. I'll put them in the description of other people's create this book videos, but don't leave me. We still got a video to do here. There's still quite a lot to do in this book. When did I start this? 2018. Uh-oh. <laughs> These books take time. So let's get into the first prompt. All right, let's get into Create This Book 2. Have I said the name enough times yet? Create This Book 2, Create This Book 2. Yeah, I think I did. So let me flip to the first page I'm gonna do. And here we go. It says, create a scented page. Use this page to capture your favorite scents. First, I have to bring in some extra pieces of paper because I'm gonna be doing some heavy painting on here and I don't want it to bleed through the page. So taking some very careful and precise measurements, call me the human ruler, cut that out, make sure it fits roughly. And there, got my new drawing surface already. Of course, you can take this prompt literally, spray the book with perfume or shove flowers in there. How about these? I'm going with a much more visual interpretation. I'm gonna draw some of my favorite scents all mushed together in a big scent blob. Doesn't that sound aesthetic? On the other page, I'm gonna be drawing a bottle of perfume, which is supposed to be kind of creating the scent glob. Here's, oh, what was that transition even supposed to be? I don't know. It's time to ink this baby. And as you can see, I've drawn fruit and a flower and fruit and some frosting and a lot more fruit. Me likes the fruits. Flowers are okay, you know, kind of in the background. I also like cupcake and cake scents. That's why the big hunk of frosting on the strawberry. And don't forget about my little bottle over here. Now for the color, spraying these down with some water to activate them. They're looking nice and sweaty. And just taking my little sketchbook sketchbook. Yes, I did write that on the cover. Looks like a caveman did it. And I'm just testing out some of the colors here. I'm still getting to know these paints. The last time I used these was actually the first time I used them. I talked about how they are a lot more opaque than the typical watercolor. It's covering a lot of my black outline. And some of you pointed out that that's because this particular set is actually a watercolor gouache mix. I had heard of gouache before, but I never took the time to actually figure out what it is. Every time somebody says gouache, I'm just like, mm, gouache, gouache, gouache. Okay, I'll ignore that. Also, it kind of sounds like squash and I have a burning hatred for squash. Apparently gouache is a crossover between acrylic paint and watercolor paint, which makes sense. It activates like watercolor, but it has a, a little bit more opacity to it like acrylic. But then this paint is a mix between gouache and watercolor. So this paint is a mix between watercolor and a mix of watercolor and acrylic. It's like me trying to describe my ethnicity. <laughs> All that to say, I was noticing this doesn't act like regular watercolor and that's because it's not regular watercolor. You dummy. Either way, I've painted my picture and now I'm just gonna use some colored pencils to create a little bit more depth. This is like my new favorite way to color things. Throw a flat layer of watercolor and then use colored pencils for the detail. Mm, they are a fantastic team. Oh, and just in time for the sprinkle song. <laughs> And just like that, it's time for our juicy highlights. Gotta love those. And also fixing our juicy mistakes. <laughs> Oops. Switching gears, I'm gonna quickly add some shading to the bottle of this perfume. Does it make any sense at all that the liquid is a gradient of colors that somehow aren't mixing together? Um. No. Fortunately, making art is not the time to really face reality, so it's fine. Now that both of these are done, 
cut them out. Ooh, they look real good on this blue background. They're going back in the book and I'm gonna stick some paper in there as well to protect the rest of the pages because I'm gonna go ahead and do some painting. Oh, ooh. This was not my original plan, but I felt like it was gonna help make the art stand out and pop a little bit more. Make sure to get that scrap paper out of there before the paint dries. That's a recipe for disaster. Once that is completely dry, I'm just gluing the two little pictures in. They do look like giant stickers, which is fine. The only problem is that it, it kind of makes it weird to show a relationship between the two. Like I'm trying to make it look like the bottle is spraying the scent glob into existence. Gotta call it something different. The cluster of smell. <laughs> No. I tried to create that effect, but it's it's not very convincing. Final step, matte Mod Podge. Applying Mod Podge helps keep everything fresh inside the book as you work on the other pages. But if you do this, it's got to be matte Mod Podge, not glossy. Because glossy, even when it's fully dry, is tacky and it can cause your pages to stick together and then you will be sad. Also, make sure the Mod Podge is completely dry before closing the book. And here it is, here is the final drawing. I do like it. It's bright, it's colorful, it pops, and you smell it? Yeah, it smells good, so I'm I'm happy with it. Okay, and let's move on to the next page. This one says, create a character. Fill out the following blanks at random. Adjective, color, animal. Compile the three answers to create a unique character. So very quickly, I filled out the blanks. I really did my best not to picture anything, just fill them out as randomly as possible, and this is what my brain came up with. Honestly, these are the most basic responses ever. I'm not impressed. Once again, I'm using a separate piece of paper for my drawing, and here we go. Let's remind everyone of my answers. I feel like I'm on Family Feud. So, a fuzzy purple penguin. I wish that I had been a little bit more out there and weird with my responses, but I genuinely just wrote down the absolute first words that came to mind. They're not creative at all, and I'm low-key bitter about it because I feel like this was a great opportunity to do something really weird, and instead, here I am drawing a basic fuzzy purple penguin, but that's okay. It's not your fault, little buddy. I'm just gonna try to make the best of it. <coughs> Hello! I've been releasing. I've been releasing. I've been releasing new merchandise to you guys every single week for over a month now. It's been a lot! This is the last in the series of back to back launches that I have for you for the next little while. But before I get into showing you the final product, I wanted to make sure that I take the time to say thank you to all of you who have been so sweet and supportive of all of this merchandise that I'm releasing. I have truly put my heart and soul into launching all of these products and every single one of them is something that I'm proud of and something that I genuinely like and would buy for myself. And it's really exciting when you guys love it as well. I've already teased who's coming back. It is the classic Pickle the Dinosaur plush who is back. This plush is still one of my most loved products. He has been unavailable for quite a while now and I know that we have some new faces. Yes, hi, I see you there in the back. Hi. And some of you have been here the whole time but just missed out on the first opportunity and have been begging ever since to bring him back. He has been upgraded slightly since the original version. I did swap out the spots for embroidery because <laughs> we're getting fancy. As well as his facial features, they have now been switched to embroidery. It just gives it an even higher quality look but he's still the same pickle that we all love. So good to have you back. Also, we are running a cool giveaway where one lucky winner will receive this oh my gosh come here he's a massive pickle the dinosaur plush there are only gonna be two of these made one for the lucky winner and one for me because I want to keep this one I need one too <laughs> So any purchase on the store that's made between Black Friday and Cyber Monday is automatically entered to win this big boy. The winner will be randomly selected and contacted by December 1st. This is the perfect time to shop, not only because you could win the big pickle plush, but also because everything in the store is gonna be on sale during this time. All sales will end November 30th, so don't miss out. As always, make sure you check that order page so you know when items will ship. And let's get back to create this book. I have 
have here my very simple little drawing and I'm gonna go over that with ink. I did make this a baby penguin because baby penguins are fuzzy. So once again, how original. It's like writing down a tall giraffe. It's, it's just not creative, not at all. I also decided to give him a big fuzzy hat to kind of emphasize the fuzzy factor. And at this point, I was just bored with this drawing. I seriously considered restarting and giving myself a second chance to do better and come up with something more interesting, but that felt like cheating. So I decided to just keep on going and see if I could fix it with the color. So I'm laying down a nice light coat of purple, of course, because I have to. I didn't want to do just like a solid purple. I wanted to do lots of different tones in there. So I mixed in a lot of blue and pink to kind of give it some variation. And you know, slowly but surely, this is starting to grow on me. I'm, I'm starting to like it a little bit more. It's not that bad. I did end up wanting to bring a little bit more drama. So I decided to give the sky a bright blue to pink gradient and then create some bright blue and pink lighting kind of over everything to give it that dynamic feeling. Finally, I'm adding a ton of snowflakes all over the place, which I think actually really made this drawing for me. I think it got a whole lot cuter in the snow. Back to the book, I decided to paint the right page purple in honor of our fuzzy purple little friend. And here he is moving into his new home. And I did throw a couple little snowflakes over the purple page, you know, why not? That's fine, it can be snowing over there too. And here it is. You know, I think I made the best of this page. Do I still have some regret over not being more creative with the words that I chose? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But considering what my basic self came up with, I like him. I like the whole vibe of the page, so I should really just quit complaining about it, right? It's it's not that bad. Finally, moving on to the last page for this episode. Wow, it's way back there. It says, create a pastel page. Use only light colors on this page. Very simple. I love pastels, okay? Love them. So I've been looking forward to doing this page for quite some time because I felt like it was just going to be so fun, right in my comfort zone, pastels, and oh yeah. So I'm not exactly sure why I decided to draw something like a pony. I'm not a big pony person. I mean, I got nothing against them, but I'm just not huge into ponies. I definitely don't draw them often at all, but for some reason, I decided to do a freaking pony, and it's very clear that I'm not practiced at this because it was looking quite weird. Um, <laughs> I think she's too tall or something. I don't know, but I'm messing with it and having a hard time figuring out what's up here, but I didn't give up. I'm still holding on to that pony, and this is what I've got. Yikes. Hopefully, the coloring will help. I'm relying on the coloring a lot this episode to kind of make things better. Here I go, very lightly coloring over this pony. I've gone with a nice pink for the body, and then I'm doing rainbow for the mane, which is currently very, very light and difficult to see, but it's there. I did end up doing a brown outline in colored pencil. I didn't do black because I wanted the whole look to be very soft, so, you know, no harsh black lines, but the brown will, will give us a little bit more definition. And my colorless blender pencils were my lifeline with this because I wanted to keep everything so light, just light. <laughs> You know, when you don't use full pressure on colored pencils, it gives them that very splotchy look that I'm not particularly fond of. So I was able to go in with my colorless blender and smooth everything out a little bit, give it a little bit more even coverage. And for the background, I just created a big fat pastel rainbow. This design, it's actually very simplistic. For this prompt, I thought that I would go crazy and do something detailed, but I don't know. No, it just, it just ended up being a tall pony and a rainbow. <laughs> in fact, I I'm worried it may almost be too simple and not interesting enough. Of course I love the pastel and I love the rainbow, but I feel like it's missing something without any deep shading. This is the completed page. I did enjoy making it quite a lot. It was really fun and relaxing and easy, so I'm grateful for the experience. I don't think my pony is gonna be accepted into the My Little Pony Squad anytime soon. That's fine, I'll keep her, okay? She's my little tall pony. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been too dang long since I did one of these, and it was really great to pull out my book and do some drawing again. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!